Talk about episode 43 of Cho Z. So actually, before this video even begins, can we hit 2,000 likes in the hype for Dead Phoenix against Geist Fafnir? Anyways, let's get on with the review. So episode 43 of Cho Z, also called God of Destruction Phoenix. It starts off with Fi challenging Frida La Jolla. I, of course, is always still sleeping whenever something big happens. He's informed that they are about to battle. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty crazy. Fi proclaims himself as a god of destruction. He will Hakai, which is he will destroy any of his opponents. Free is getting ready and he is training. Free has gotten a bit stronger than before since he last fought against Aiga. I believe that was actually his, his last. He fought against Aiga and he fought against uh, Kyle, who had uh, Kerbeus. So, Vault talks to him. It's a pretty big match. So, Fi reminds me a lot of Hearts now, since um, his Phoenix Bay merged with Dead Hades. Well, he took the metal from it. It's not like. It's sort of like a fusion, but it's not. He's very, very excited to destroy his opponent. So they go over his bay, seeing that he has a dead armor. It's not called revive armor now, it's called dead armor. So the first battle, Free actually wins it. So Free spin steals, and then after he manages to knock off the armor, Fi sees that. He tries to go for the impact, since I guess this is probably one of his first time. I suppose this is his first time testing out his bay. And the armor impact sadly does not work as Fafnir knocks it out and Fafnir manages to actually knock out Dead Phoenix in the first round which I guess makes sense, he hasn't gotten used to his bait yet even if it is almost... it is 10 friction by the way so my theory is now since somebody said that uh, Free might break Fi is uh, that Fi might actually change the parts uh, a few episodes later maybe as his sort of evolution quote unquote to attain to sort of like work with the power with Phoenix, I guess. So, next round, Fi decides he's gonna go crazy. So, Fafnir attacks it again and knocks off the armor, trying to go for the same trick it did before. This time, Phoenix actually does something that reminds me of the manga, where it uses the performance tip to actually hit the armor and make it bounce. It hits Fafnir, and he knocks out Fafnir in the second round, making them both tied. Now this time, Free is going all out. He, he's like, pupils get widened out and everything. He really is like going 100%. So, Fi gets this new theme, and I'm pretty sure it's new music uh, for him, a new uh, OST for him, since I remember the Phoenix one sounds a little bit different, unless I am wrong. Fi goes for the dead armor piercing, I'm pretty sure that's what he said. And the armor starts to hit it around and it goes for a lot of barrage attacks. Free manages to hold his ground just by a bit. Unfortunately, Fi unleashes his true power by going 100% on Free. Phoenix charges against uh, Fafnir, it goes for a barrage attacking it. Free is trying his best to hold his ground against Phoenix. The Phoenix armor hits it again, it's too strong. Then after he's charging against Free, he goes for the dead armor piercing again as Phoenix charges at it. And by the way, this shot right here looks amazing. I love it. It hits Fafnir and like I called it, he breaks Geist Fafnir. That's right. I called this before, I thought no they wouldn't. They did. Guys, Fafnir has been destroyed. Now this sort of makes sense. Phoenix was always shown to be a very powerful bay. He broke hearts with the Black Revive Phoenix and now with Dead Phoenix, he's getting accustomed to his new power. And since then, he's broken Guys, Fafnir and Free is a very powerful blader, but it's crazy to see how easy he went down. Even though, you know, he did put up a fight obviously, but yeah. Winner is Fi. Free's obviously very upset since his Fafnir was destroyed. Bolt wants to challenge him. Uh, Fi scares him. Like, Fi doesn't even think the champion. The champion Bolt is worth a challenge to him. 
So the next episode is nothing really that special. It is training. It seems it will be leading up to most likely Vault and Aiga against Fi. And this also could mean that uh, she'll probably come around near the end since basing it off the opening. It seems like all these bladers going to be trying to defeat Fi. I think Fi will probably lose. Maybe his bay will break at the end of this whole arc. Or uh, he might actually break all the bladers and they might have to continue in the next season. And Fi might be the actual champion. At least Fi is showing to be a very, very interesting antagonist. Since the first one, I guess, was Louie. Then after it was Fi. Then it was, like, I guess Heart, sort of. But then it was actually just Fi again. I like it. I'm really excited to see where the future holds. So what do we have now, actually? I have two Phoenixes. I have the original Dead Fe <laughs> Yeah, sure, Dead Phoenix, yeah. I wish. I have Black Revive Phoenix, and I have a Purple Phoenix, represent the Dark Energy, because I really like using it. And we'll be doing battles against Geist Fafnir. Now, of course, you in the comment section below can tell me what were your thoughts on that episode. I think it's very good setup for Fi, and it's really showing his level of strength and power. It's kind of good to see that, you know? I like it a lot. I did think that Fafnir wouldn't hold up. I did, I did kind of have the idea it was break, because I said in the last one, people said no, it won't happen. It did. It's not that hard to predict, but still. So the rules will be, we'll do two, three rounds each, and we'll get it started. The armor comes off. I was actually using it like in the anime. Man, Phoenix versus Fafnir. Yeah, uh, Fafnir actually did put up like a cool. Oh, yeah, I, I, he did better than I expected. I thought he'd break probably in the second round. He used a lot of absorb impact and he used Geist Claw. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. His strategy was sort of to knock off that armor and attack Phoenix when it's uh, quote unquote weakened since. Uh, the actual lair doesn't have any metal. I still do wonder when he's going to get the zero and atomic on his base, since that's the actual stock it should have. So, I don't know if it's going to be something like we're in the actual anime. It's different parts for it. I don't think that's the case, because why, why else would they give it zero and atomic? We could possibly see. Maybe. He's training. And Fi maybe wants... I guess, to try to explore more of Dead Phoenix's true power. Something like that, I guess. I guess it kind of makes sense uh, how Fafnir lost. Because he used the armor impact, I think, twice in the second battle, I'm pretty sure. Not, uh, not in the second battle, last battle that they had. He kept on using it, so... He, I guess, knows that Fafnir can't absorb and use that power against his opponent. Uh, Fi wasn't having that. Oh. Fafnir. Alright, now you know what we have to do. You know what we have to do. We have to use the purple revive phoenix. So let's get it. Ooh. This is hands down my favorite Revive Phoenix. I am extremely excited for when Dead Phoenix comes. As Dead Phoenix is looks like a pretty hyped release. It's not really that crazy. It's basically Revive Phoenix with just zero and atomic, but I'm still pretty hyped for it. It's gonna actually lose. All right, oh uh, yeah, I'll also make a joke since uh, people probably make the joke. Yeah, uh, stay tuned for my OMG 100% Dead Phoenix Breaks Guys Fafnir video. Uh, all jokes aside, I probably will actually do it. So I know I'm saying all jokes aside. Anyways, tell me in the comment section below what do you think of Fafnir Breaking? If you are against Fafnir Breaking, can I hear? Hear, I, I can't really hear it because you're typing a comment. Can I read? Hashtag. Bring back Fafnir. 
And if you are in support of the God of Destruction Phi, can we get hashtag Dead Phoenix in the comment section below? I'm expecting probably two comments that actually do that. So, yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Uh, the goal for this video is uh, 2,000 likes. So, let's try to hit it!